formulate study objectives so first of all let us look at what is aim and what is objective people usually confuse these two things aim or goal is generally stated as broad and it refer to ultimate outcome of any research project and therefore may refer to a long term outcome uh, many use the term aim sometimes interchangeably with that of objective however we recommend the use of term objective now you can convert your research question into research objective how research objectives are stated in technical terms like clinical or medical where research question was in simple language which is easy to understand it by simple uh, uh, sentences or simple words which uh, layman can also understand while objectives are in technical terms and it is uh, preferable to label objectives as primary and secondary uh, primary objective address the key question and primary methods of sampling and sample size objectives are basically framing research question in our scientific and epidemiological terms right and objective should denote descriptive or analytical nature of study and for that uh, we use uh, specific verbs in objectives so first of all how we can translate our research question into objective and there are few things that we should consider first of all frame and write your uh, research question in scientific or epidemiological terms and language second take the question in few limited axes make it very specific third be clear about the type of question whether descriptive or analytical so if your research question is descriptive it is measuring a quantity then use the verb estimate the verb estimate uh, depicts measurement so it is a descriptive question objective and analytical or experimental question when you want to test a hypothesis or compare a group then use the verb determine right so for example estimate the prevalence of physical activity that is a descriptive uh, objective and to determine whether exercise reduces the blood sugar level that is an analytical objective uh, never use more than verb one verb for each objective so and sometimes people use uh, to study on uh, this verb uh, very frequently and this is a very poor statement of objective and that's why verb to study should uh, not be used it is not recommended uh, then uh, classify your objectives as primary and secondary if there are many objectives the analytical research questions for example in order to improve management of type 2 diabetes we wish to know whether brisk walking by diabetes for at least one hour daily reduces fasting blood sugar level as compared to those who do not now let us make an primary objective out of it to determine the effect of brisk walking for at least one hour daily on fasting blood sugar level of patients with type 2 diabetes compared to those who do not so this is how we have converted our research question into primary objective which of the following statement about study objective is false uh, objectives are stated in scientific term that is true objective can be primary and secondary that is also true each objective is written using multiple verbs. that is wrong we should not use more than one verb in any objective so c is the answer here an objective should be specific that is true how can the given study objective be improved to understand the anemia in pregnancy now see here uh, we have not used appropriate verb so that is a mistake we have not even specified the outcome measurement that how uh, what we want to do and third we have not even specified the study setting or time period so all of the above can be improved in this objective which of the following verb is preferably used in statement of objective of an analytical research study so to analytical research study we use the verb determine and for descriptive we use the word estimate the verb estimate is used in objective of analytical research study that is false estimate is used for descriptive research study now let us look at some examples of good and bad study objectives first of all let us see the example one determine the importance of sedentary lifestyle among diabetes this is a bad objective uh, because uh, it is not specifying anything so first of all we use the proper verb estimate the prevalence of physical activity among diabetes they both mean the same thing but the second option is better 
because that word determine is not particularly suited for this particular statement therefore estimate uh, word is depicting better uh, descriptive study uh, example 2 assess physical activity and diabetic complication uh, we can improve this like estimate effect of physical activity on rate of diabetic complication so it is good right uh, third example let us see evaluate depression and diabetes bad determine whether depression is more common among diabetics as compared to healthy individual that is good right so whenever you have a poor or relevant research question try to answer it and uh, the answer will be of no use to anyone uh, or there will be no answer that means uh, your question or objective is very poor you have to reframe it right 